Good evening, wrestling fans. Ken Resnick with you here. And this is AWA Championship Wrestling. The countdown is on to the gold rush. It'll be right here live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Caesars Palace will be the home. Tonight, the Midnight Rockers go head-to-head -head with the Midnight Express. Welcome back, wrestling fans, and happy Memorial Day here on the Nation Network. What better way to kick it off than with Sergeant Slaughter as he enters the ring? Yeah, well, you know what? I'm pretty big in the military myself, don't forget. At ease. Now it seems like forever I've been dealing with the likes of these ingrates that call themselves the Allied Powers. Well, I'll tell you something right now, maggots. At the Gold Rush, this war comes to an end. And there's no better day, no better place than right here, right now, to tell everyone. Because today is Memorial Day. And I'm gonna honor all of the great soldiers who have defended the old glories, red, white, and blue right here tonight. And I'm gonna shut that Colonel De Beers up once and for all. But the final straw is gonna come at the Gold Rush because it's gonna be the complete team of the Cobra Corps going up against the Allied Powers. Now with that said, one member of the Cobra Corps is MIA. Scott Hall decided to walk out on the Cobra Corps, but I've got a worthy replacement, and you'll all find out who that is next week. Until then, I will see you, Colonel De Beers, in the boot camp match. Well, that's a lot of information in a short period of time. Scott Hall no longer a member of the Cobra Corps. He has left. Yeah, I want to know who the replacement is, though. We'll have to wait until next week to find out. Fans, stay with us.
All right, fans, once again, we are back here, and it is time for Championship Wrestling. We're going to take the action inside the ring. Our opening contest tonight features one of the legends here in AWA Wrestling, Larry the Axe Hennig. Of course, his son, Kurt Hennig, is the current television champion. And Larry Hennig is going to have his work cut out for him here tonight, no doubt about that. He's going to be going up against one of the toughest, one of the biggest men in the world of professional wrestling, former member of the fabulous Freebirds, Bam Bam, Terry Gordy. Well, I'll tell you something right now. This should be a pretty good match because these are a couple of real tough individuals who definitely know how to put on a great fight. But I think that the age is going to be the major factor. I think Terry Bam Bam Gordy is much younger, much more virile, and I think that's going to play a major role in the outcome of this one. I also think he's a little bit stronger right now than Larry Diaz. And you got to realize Larry Hennig's in his 50s around this point. Well, indeed, it's going to be an uphill battle for Larry the Axe Hennig, but at the same point in time, we know he is tough. We know he is determined. We've seen the matches he's had with the Mad Dog, Maurice Vachon, and they have been some classics, to say the least, and it, they have been wrestling classics, but they have been brawls that people will never stop talking about. Well, we'll find out right now, won't we? They meet in the middle of the ring, and right off the bat, Terry Bam Bam Gordy wasting no time whatsoever going to work on the X. He's hammering away with everything, all big headbutt right there, and down goes Larry the X Hennig. You know, he's not that far away from retirement age. I'm not sure why he's still in the ring at this point in time. Well, he's not quite that old yet, Jess, but to your point, I understand that this is definitely a battle of the ages, you may say. There are definitely two different generations in the ring right now. The question is, can Larry the Axe head and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody like Bam Bam Terry Gordy? Well, we're going to find out. I'm just, personally, I don't think it's going to happen. Once again, fans, it'll be June 12th, live from right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. It'll be Caesars Palace hosting the AWA Gold Rush. You don't want to miss this one. It is starting to take shape. Well, indeed, the contract was signed last week, which was the deadline, and Jerry Lawler signed it on the bottom line. But it's going to be title versus title. Who will it be that walks out with both gold straps over their shoulders? Well, it's either going to be Jerry Lawler or Nick Bockwinkle. We will find out on June 12th. Right now, Bam Bam, Terry Gordy continuing the beating on Larry Hennig. And Gordy has controlled the majority of the match up till now. But that was a big miss coming off that middle rope. Yeah, Gordy came down with nearly 300 pounds. And he flapjacked into the middle of the ring with nobody there to break his fall. And now it is Larry the Axe Hennig going to work, wrenching the head and the neck area of Bam Bam Jerry Gordy. I'm not sure how much success he's going to have with that. Bam Bam, Bam Terry Gordy's really put together in the upper body. He's a very thick, muscular individual. He doesn't have that chiseled physique of a guy like a Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff or a ravishing Rick Rude. But he's very powerful, very strong. He's got that country strength, I like to say. Indeed he does, and here's a pile driver. Larry the Axe Henning just pile driven straight down, and that could be all she wrote. Well, you know what, Bam Bam Terry Gordy may be making the right move right here. Normally, I would tell him to go for the pinfall. But I think it might have been a little bit early, and now he's going to follow it up. He's got him up, power bomb. Oh, my goodness, almost broke him in half with that one. Gordy drags him out to the middle of the ring, hooks the leg, referee's there for the count, and that should be all she wrote. Indeed it is. Gordy talking smack. He really did a heck of a number here on Larry Hennig. Dropped him there across the top rope, but this was it right here. That pile driver really took everything out of him. And whatever was left was taken out with the power bomb. Look at the impact. 
Knocked him out cold. Yeah, he was dead weight being dragged over there to the middle. Former member of the Freebirds now going at solo. Bam Bam, Terry Gordy, victorious here. AWA Championship Wrestling fans will be back with plenty more action right after this. Stay with us. All right, welcome back, wrestling fans, to the very special Memorial Day edition of AWA Championship Wrestling. We're coming to you live from the Showboat Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Making his way down the aisle at this time, that is Jake the Milkman Milliman. I'll tell you right now, I don't like his odds whatsoever in this one. <laughs> I think this may be the last time we ever see Jake the Milkman Milliman. That, that's my prediction. I'm going to go on the record with that one. Well, that may be a little overstated there, but at the same point in time, Jesse brings up a very good point. Because the Milkman, he may have uh, just bitten off a little bit more than he can chew in this match. I know I would not want to be him right now. The AWA America's Champion is King Kong Bundy. And he comes down to the ring, getting ready to go one-on-one -on -one with the Milkman. King Kong Bundy is a mountain of a man, no doubt about that. And right now he's getting ready to deliver that big splash on Jake Milliman. Nobody gets up from that one. The AWA America's Championship. My understanding is that title is going to be defended at the Gold Rush. We don't know who he'll be defending it against yet. Well, by next week, we expect to have a lot of these matches finalized and it'll be official. So we're gonna find out very quickly. Bell sounds, and here we go. Bundy taking down the milkman right off the bat, wasting no time. And now Jake Milliman with a shoulder tackle on King Kong Bundy. Who'd have thought it? A series of uppercuts, and now Jake the Milkman Milliman with the opportunity here on Bundy. He's got the advantage. I've got to tell you right now, I am beyond stunned right now at what's happening here. Bundy getting beat up by the milkman. Who'd have thought it? Well, wait a minute. Now Bundy is back up, and down goes Jake the Milkman Milliman, and this may be the beginning of the end. You see, here's the problem with these guys that come out with a little bit of fire early on. you got to think long-term, and long-term is King Kong Bundy's just going to get angry with you. Oh, and that's exactly what's happening right now is Bundy choking him out, perhaps trying to teach him a lesson. No. 
Another devastating clothesline, and once again, Jake Milliman is in trouble. Well, Milliman's troubles, I believe, are just beginning. The Milkman. Back body drop all the way out to the floor he goes, and now Bundy's gonna take this out to the floor. Not a good thing if you're Jake the Milkman Milliman, I'll tell you that right now. Definitely not, suplex right there on Milliman. Bundy's got him now, what's he gonna do here? He's got him up in the air. Oh, he power bombs him on the apron and slams him into the side. Well, I can tell you firsthand, there is no forgiveness in that apron. Milliman just got red head first into the steel post by the America's champion. Both men beat the count back into the ring. Bundy's got him in trouble. Tremendous elbow drop and it finds the mark. King Kong Bundy waiting for him to get back to his feet, and he does. Well, I told you this wasn't going to be good news for Milliman. Bundy just slammed him with everything he has. A spine buster. Hooks the leg. Oh, he says no, not yet. Once again, goes for the cover, and again, he says, no, not yet. Well, you know what? Bundy's got some revenge on mind right now because Milliman, he dealt out some punishment that I don't think anybody expected. King Kong Bundy just continues. What's he? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Don't let him do this. Nobody was home. And now Bundy is rocked. Milliman backing him up into the corner. Well, I'll tell you, Jake the Milkman Milliman hasn't learned his lesson because he made Bundy angry before and he paid one hell of a price for it. And I think he's about to pay an even bigger price this time. And again, the back body drop. Once again, Jake the Milkman all the way out to the floor and Bundy's got that look in his eye. I don't like the odds right now if you're Jake Milliman. Bundy, tee it off on him with a bunch of back elbows right to the side of the head. Catching him up near that temple, it might be a concussion. Wow, what a big head, but that was right there by Bundy, and he busted him wide open. Continuing to work on the head of the milkman. Well, Bundy, very smart, breaks the count, goes back outside the ring. He doesn't want a count out. He could have had that a half hour ago. He's going to beat this guy. Oh, wow, look at him. He is spilling blood right now. King Kong Bundy. Again, teeing off on that open wound. Now going to work with that nerve pinch right in the trapezius muscle. Oh, there's the big elbow one more time. And again, King on Money standing by, waiting for him to get back to his feet, which he does. There's that spine buster once again. Well, you can count to 100 as far as I'm concerned. There's no way he gets back up from that one. And again, Bundy hooks the leg. And he gets the three count. There is your winner. He is the America's champion. And next week, we expect to find out who will be challenging him at the Gold Rush. Well, whoever it is, I hope they're watching highlights of this one tonight because I wouldn't want to be that guy.
Look again, Bundy had opportunity after opportunity, just kept picking him back up off the mat. There's that elbow drop near 400 pounds. That devastating pile driver and now King Kong Bundy walking down the referee saying, get out of my face. Well, King Kong Bundy, he don't need anybody to raise his hand. He knows he won the match. Man, stay with us. Plenty more action still to come. All right, fans, if you've never seen a boot camp match before, you're about to see something that you will never forget. Sergeant Slaughter came up with this, and he says that back in the drill days, drill sergeant days, when he'd get some punk recruit in there and needed an attitude adjustment, he'd take him out behind the boot camp, and they would go no holds barred until the point was made. Colonel De Beers making his way up the aisle towards the ring. The feud between the Allied Powers and the Cobra Corps, well-documented fans right here in AWA Wrestling. At the Gold Rush, the final war, the final battle. The war will come to an end at Caesar's Palace. Well, I'll tell you, this event is so big, it had to be at the big outdoor stadium, and that's exactly where it's going to be taking place. Where the hell is Slaughter? Well, the bell sounds and action's underway. There's no disqualification in this one. It is a boot camp match. It's all legal. Slaughter comes out with a steel chair. Well, you'll see the referee is there too because the pinfall can take place anywhere in the arena. Sergeant Slaughter going to work on him right now. These two men have no love for one another. Well, wait a minute, where's he going now? Slaughter's heading backstage.
And now these two men are just brawling it out backstage. Slaughter with a drop kick. Well, Sergeant Slaughter clearly with the advantage right now with this one. Still going to work on him with that steel chair. The Sarge really taking it out of Colonel De Beers. It makes you wonder what's it going to be like on June 12th. Well, it's going to be a lot like this, but it's going to be six men instead of one on one. And now De Beers with Slaughter throws him into the wall. Went for the pile driver, De Beers gonna reverse it. Back body drop slaughter here on the concrete floor. Yeah. Now throwing slaughter into the hallway. Referee still standing by. He's ready to end this thing on a moment's notice. Slaughter into the steel door. Well, I'll tell you right now, it's Memorial Day. Sergeant Slaughter does not wanna lose this match today. Blocks that suplex attempt right there. Hammers away on the beers. And another drop kick. What is he? He's got a steel rack. Oh, and he just nailed the beers with it. Well, Colonel De Beers had to figure out that this wasn't going to go well for him. The boot camp match is one that Sergeant Slaughter has owned. He came up with this thing. He brought it into wrestling, and now De Beers is in his element, and he's got to figure out a way to survive this thing. But so far, he's done just that. Well, De Beers may be surviving for the moment. The question is, how much longer can he do it? Slaughter ran into that equipment box. Oh, and now face first to the concrete floor. Colonel Devere's has the opportunity. Back body drop, though, by Sergeant Slaughter. Give credit. Sergeant giving it up without a battle, is he? Well, we wouldn't expect anything different. Slaughter now, he's got him up in the air. What's he going to do with him? Drives him down across that rack. Fans, this is unbelievable. Some of the most brutal action I've ever seen right here at AWA. Sergeant Slaughter in a boot camp match. Not the first time, probably not the last. Again, De Beers way up in the air. Slaughter puts him through the table. I'll tell you right now, Sergeant Slaughter really doing the job on him right here. Colonel the Beers with a deep arm drag. That time on Sergeant Slaughter. He's going for the suplex. Slaughter comes out the back door. Neck breaker. And now Slaughter's got the Beers. What's he doing? Dragging him back out. Slaughter dragging the beers back out here to the main aisle, the aisle, excuse me, to the main arena. Well, Sergeant Slaughter right now trying to put this one to bed, I believe, and he's got Colonel the beers in all kinds of trouble. Throwing him down the aisle, step by step. Referee is there waiting for the moment. Oh, what's he gonna do now? Slaughter's got the steps. He puts them in the ring. If I'm Colonel De Beers, I'm gonna be awfully wary right now. Sergeant Slaughter's got something in mind and I don't wanna be on the receiving end of it if I'm Colonel De Beers. Well, now De Beers with the Irish whip to Slaughter back out front. Both men meeting in the middle. 
The Bears now has got Slaughter up in the air for the pile driver. Look out. Oh, that was it. That might be all she wrote right there. Slaughter's in trouble indeed. And he manages to get his shoulder up. Well, I'll tell you right now, this almost was a Memorial Day. It would be one that Slaughter would definitely remember for a very long time to come. Colonel De Beers now with the opportunity here. Slaughter throws him into the steps. Slaughter's got him up. What's he going to do with him? Oh, he power bombs him on the steps. Colonel De Beers is in trouble. I'll tell you right now, Colonel De Beers is just taking a beating and a half. And now there's the Cobra clutch. Ropes won't save you, not in this match. De Beers trying desperately to survive it. But it's not going to happen. Slaughter gets the win. Well, that's a big victory for Sergeant Slaughter heading in to the gold rush. He survived. Look at this. Face first pile driver. The apartheid. He delivered it. Slaughter manages to kick out. And I haven't seen anybody kicked out of that until just now. He cinched that Cobra Clutch deep. Following the power bomb on those steps. Tremendous victory for Sergeant Slaughter. Now, wait a minute. Slaughter waiting. For Colonel De Beers once again back up to his feet. And there it is again. Well, I don't know why he had to go and put it on him a second time. I think the point was made. He won the match. Fans will be back with more action right here at the AWA Championship Wrestling. Stay with us. All right, fans, we are back already in the ring at this time. Bob Backlund. And it, wait a minute. Look at this. Jumping him from behind. Larry Zabisco. Well, Larry Zabisco and Bob Backlund have had a little bit of a feud going on here over the past several weeks. And perhaps Larry Zabisco not liking the way things have been going thus far decided to get an upper hand advantage. Can't blame a man for that. Zabisco jumping backland from the rail, coming through the fans. Now the former world champion going to work on the arm of Larry Zabisco. Fans, we invite you to follow us on Twitter at Invasion Nation. Get all of the top news here in the FWF as well as the world of professional wrestling. Bob Backlund now working that top arm bar. He's got that in there deep. Reverse wrist lock if you want to get it right, but that's okay. You've never been in the ring a day in your life. Russian leg sweep right there by Bob Backlund. Thank you for the correction, Jess. Backlund driving the knee right into the small of the back. And Larry Zabisco right now dragged out to the middle of the ring. What's Backlund got in mind? 
Well, that's the thing about Bob Backlund. He's a goody two-shoes, and I don't know. He's been on a heck of a run right now. He's got some big wins over Larry Zabisco, not to mention a whole bunch of other names, a couple of which I didn't think in a million years he would get over on, but he did. Backlund now going for a belly-to-belly -belly suplex, and he really drove the air out of the body of Larry Zabisco with that one. Well, Bob Backlund is a tremendous wrestler. I'm not going to take that away from him, but he lacks that nasty side that you need to be super successful, in my opinion. Well, he's a former world champion, held that title for the better part of six years. I mean, he must know a little bit about professional wrestling to accomplish that. Well, maybe, but it's a different time right now. Oh, wait, wait a minute. He's got it on him. The crossface chicken wing is on. Zabisco's in trouble. Will he be able to escape this one? Well, I can tell you right now, one of the very few that I can ever imagine have done it is Larry Zabisco. But he better not find himself in that position too many times in a match because I tell you right now, most people tap out to that hole. Zabisco raking the eyes and then cutting out the leg of Bob Macklin. Now Larry Zabisco off the top rope, and he comes down right into the chest of the former world champion. Both of these men, former world champions, of course, Larry Zabisco, the former AWA world heavyweight champion, not taking anything away from him. And these two men both had it made it clear that they want a shot at the winner of Gold Rush. Well, I can tell you right now, it would be a match worth watching no matter how you want to look at it. Whether it would be Backlin versus Lawler, Zabisco versus Lawler. He got him! Larry Zabisco got Bob Backlin with a pile driver! And that's what happens. Larry Zabisco just sent him to Larry Land. There it is, that pile driver. Backlin just went limp. Look at him. He shot out of that thing like a cannon. And Larry Zabisco taking advantage. He attacked back then before the bell ever sounded. And he never looked back. Well, you know what? He made his own luck. And sometimes in life, that's what you gotta do. And we're in Vegas, baby. So no better time than right now. Fans, when we come back to Midnight Express against the Midnight Rockers. All right, fans, we are back, and it is time for the main event of the evening. They came on the scene just less than a month ago. 
the Midnight Express. Randy Rose, Dennis Condry. They signed a contract with the AWA with the sole purpose of going up against the Midnight Rockers. Well, they made it very clear that's all they wanted. Now that's what they've got. Dennis Condry, Randy Rose, they've been going after these guys for weeks now. And in my opinion, they've gotten the best of them every time out. Well, we've seen a variety of different things go down between these two teams. Everything from count-out victories to disqualifications. You name it, they've done it, but they're not done yet. Either one of these teams could be challenging for the AWA Tag Team titles at the Gold Rush, currently held by the Nasty Boys. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something right now. The Nasty Boys have been laying low, it seems, with all this tag team turmoil that's been going on. And that's probably the smart thing to do. Let these guys all beat each other up, and then when they get fed to them at the Gold Rush, they'll be able to just go through them like a hot knife through butter. Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty coming down the aisle. And these fans are on their feet. Former AWA Tag Team Champions. Bell sounds and here we go. The two men meet in the middle of the ring. Shawn Michaels and Dennis Condry. The bad blood between these two teams is very deep indeed in such a short period of time. Well, you know what? Dennis Condry's not a stranger to handling rock and rollers. And I think he saw this knockoff team over here and decided he was going to come over here and show them what it's all about. Shawn Michaels placing that knee in the back, and I've come to differ with you on that. I think the Midnight Rockers are their own team. There's obviously comparisons being made to other teams in professional wrestling, but I think they've stood the test of time. They have proven that they are capable on their own. Tag is made out of Randy Rose, and you know what? You can say the same thing about the Midnight Express. Yeah, you could, but would you say it to their face? Belly to back, suplex right there by Randy Rose, dropping Shawn Michaels on the back of his head here in the Showboat Arena. Shawn Michaels now, big overhand right, striking him between the eyes. Shawn Michaels winding that arm up, driving the elbow right into the shoulder. And he delivers a belly-to-back suplex of his own, returning the favor, and Randy Rose goes down. Oh, there it is, the super kick. Randy Rose in trouble. Well, Randy Rose, he's a big guy, and he can handle himself, but I've got to say right now the Rock and Rollers are starting to have their opportunities here. Double super kick. This could be the end of the match. Janetti goes for the cover. He hooks a leg. Dennis Condry is going to make the save. You know, part of a great tag team is knowing when to go for it and when not to. And right there, I think Marty Janetti got a little bit greedy. Listen, they hit with that double super kick, which has won them a lot of matches, including the tag team titles. You can't blame them for trying to get a pinfall. Yeah, but he didn't even try to take Dennis Condry off the apron. Not much intelligence in the artificial intelligence. Randy Rose down. What is he going to do here? Hip tosses him down and then comes down across the shoulder of Marty Jannetty. Fans, we invite you to join us here on the Nation Work, Nation Network later on today, early tomorrow morning, 1 a.m., the start time. Championship Wrestling from Florida will be the feature event. Irish whip into the turnbuckle. He goes, and now what's going on here? Marty Jannetty had the opportunity. He didn't do There it is. Tag is made now. Shawn Michaels and Jannetty, and they're going to do it again. Double super kick. 
Well, watch this. He's, yeah, I knew it. Goes for the cover. Doesn't take Randy Rose off the apron. But he may not need it. Nope. Dennis Condry still got enough left in him to kick out. We're talking about right now a couple of boys versus a couple of men. There is the difference. Fans, this is the main event here for our very special Memorial Edition, Memorial Day edition of AWA Championship Wrestling. Coming to you live from the showboat here in Vegas as a big corkscrew elbow landed and found its mark. Randy Rose getting ready to tee off on Shawn Michaels. Oh, Randy Rose doing a great idea right here. Working over the knee of Shawn Michaels. If you ground a high flyer, what's left? Shawn Michaels doesn't have any size to speak of. If he can't be his acrobatic self, then there's really nothing left he can do. Randy Rose coming off that middle rope, but he missed the target. And now Shawn Michaels going to take advantage of the mistake. Well, he thought he was, but then Randy Rose had other plans in mind. Once again, the corkscrew elbow. Shawn Michaels is down. Let's see if he can kick out. He does on one. I'll be the first to say I was a little bit surprised that he got out that easily. Big knee lift right there by Randy Rose. Shawn Michaels is in trouble. We're still waiting to see a clean pinfall or submission between these two teams. Could tonight be the night? Sunset flip, but he couldn't hold on. And now Shawn Michaels hooking the leg. Randy Rose, two count, and he gets out of it. Dennis Condry on the apron, hanging on to that top rope for dear life. I don't know how much good he's going to be to Randy Rose the rest of this way. I'm not too worried about him. There he goes. See, he can get back in there whenever he has to. Double team right here by the Midnight Rockers. Look at Shawn Michaels holding him down. Marty Gennetti. Double doozle right there. Down it is. Well, I'll give the Rockers one thing for sure. They are very good tag team wrestlers. But here's a mistake right there. Allowing an injured man to make the tag. And now Dennis Codry comes in. Well, he comes in and he goes down all the way out to the floor. Both members of the Midnight Express are outside the ring. Shawn Michaels watching as Marty Jannetty on the apron. He's telling Dennis Condry to get up. Lunging off the apron and he caught him on a clothesline. Well, right now, Randy Rose, excuse me. Marty Jannetty is starting to really fire up a little bit, but now here comes Dennis Condry. Indeed, Condry. Has got now Marty Giannetti. What is he going to do? Drapes him over the top rope. Slingshots him back towards the middle of the ring. Dennis Condry in control. Randy Rose still outside the ring. Unable to get back to his feet. Well, as long as Dennis Condry continues manhandling Marty Giannetti like he is. And we don't have anything to worry about. Leg drop right there. Nicely done. Condry waiting on Gennetti to get back to his feet. He caught him with a DDT. And I believe it's lights out time right here. No, Gennetti managing to kick out all four men are in the ring right now. This referee having a very tough time maintaining order in this one. Another devastating backbreaker, Shawn Michaels. Trying to make the tag to his partner, but Janetti can't make it over. You saw him crawling desperately on his stomach, trying to make his way over there. He couldn't make the lunge. Dennis Condry now cutting the ring in half the way a good tag team should. Janetti with that backhand knife edge chop to the chest. Condry perched on the top rope, and what is Janetti going to do from here? Oh, he's going all the way up to the top rope. Superplex, both men down, and now Gennetti hooks the leg. That could be it. No, two count only, and Dennis Condry once again proving he is one of the toughest guys in the AWA roster. 
Went for the elbow, nobody home, and now Janetti Irish whip sends him into the turnbuckle. Condry's in the wrong part of town. Here's a double team coming. Shawn Michaels gonna go rocket launcher on him. Cross body. Michaels waiting for Condry to get back to his feet. He does. There's that super kick. Goes for the cover, gets two, and save is made by Randy Rose. Randy Rose just barely made the save that time. Oh, rocker dropper. No one there to make the save this time. Can Condry kick out again? Yes, he does. Dennis Condry having to fight his own battle right now because his partner nowhere to be found. The Rocker so close to coming up with a big win over the Midnight Express right here. Hooks the leg, he gets two. You know, Gennetti doesn't look so good on the apron right now. I'm looking at him hanging over the top rope for support. Condry dropping him on his head. And he's way away from his corner right now. After a two count, Shawn Michaels gets his shoulder up and it's a good thing because Marty Jannetty was not able to get there in time. Yeah, but Condry right now staring him down. I thought he might want to do something with Jannetty there for a moment. Now to the middle rope, what is Dennis Condry gonna do? Comes off elbow, nobody home. Shawn Michaels back up on his feet. Yeah, but what good was it? He's thrown right into the turnbuckle and Dennis Condry has control over Shawn Michaels right now. Once again, the boot to the midsection and here comes Dennis Condry. Midnight Express in control, but here comes Shawn Michaels. Driving him head first into the canvas. Randy Rose still on the floor, nowhere near helping. Shawn Michaels, what's he got to go here? Sunset flip, he holds his shoulders, he couldn't keep him down. Hooks the leg, Randy Rose is in the ring, makes a save one more time. Well, Randy Rose able to get back up in just in the nick of time. Super kick. Right on the money. Shawn Michaels hooking the leg one more time. Gets two and three. No. And now he's got Randy Rose. Oh, he just came down across Dennis Condry. Randy Rose and Dennis Condry both being taken out by Shawn Michaels. And this crowd is on its feet. Well, I'll give credit where credit is due. Shawn Michaels doing a tremendous job even using the Midnight Express against themselves. Dennis Condry very slow to get up. Randy Rose is out cold. Michaels drops him on top of Randy Rose again. He hooks the leg, Randy Rose lunging at him. What a save. What a save by Randy Rose. Well, you've got to ask yourself the question, how many more times can he do it? And when is the referee going to start counting on him? Pile driver on Randy Rose. Both of these men are down and out. Tag is made. Here comes the fresh man, Marty Giannetti. I've got a funny feeling the Midnight Express are going to be on the short end of the stick here in just a moment. Janetti chopping away. And now he comes up with a DDT of his own. Could have gone for the cover there, I believe. Well, he's dragging him away from the ropes, which is a smart move, but he's taking up time. And I don't think time is an ally of his because that's only going to let Randy Rose get back up. Janetti with that sunset flip, but again, doesn't hook the legs. Here's the Irish whip sending him into the corner. Now double team perhaps by the Midnight Rockers. Shawn Michaels rocket launcher coming. Condry catches all of that across the chest. 
Springboard and nobody home. Randy Rose just now starting to get back up to the apron, but he's not at 100%. Shawn Michaels just missed a high risk maneuver. When you go high risk, you pay the re you gain the rewards, but you pay the price when you miss. Shawn Michaels caught him coming in. Condry is dazed, and now Shawn Michaels with a devastating neck breaker. Super kick right on the money. Not sure why he picked him back up. I thought that was the opportunity of the night right there. Could have put him away, I believe. And now Condry turning the tables, and now here goes Shawn Michaels into the corner of the Midnight Express. What a match we've got here at our main event, fans. Shawn Michaels tied up in the tree of woe, but he caught him, and now look at Condry, he's dazed. Not sure where he's at. Well, Dennis Condry misjudged that one right there, and he may pay the price for it. Shawn Michaels has him down again, we saw this earlier. Double doozle. Janetti waiting on him to get back to his feet. Condry doesn't know what's waiting for him. It'll be the rocker dropper, and that should be all. Oh, he busted him open. Blood flowing down the head of Condry now. Russian leg sweep and Condry desperate to make the tag and Randy Rose couldn't get in. Nice move right there by Dennis Condry to reverse out of it and now goes for the suplex himself. He's got him hanging up in the air and drives him into the mat. Condry with the opportunity to make the tag there but he elects not to waiting instead on Janetti. Catches him again in DDT. Hooks the leg, will it be enough? Shawn Michaels trying to make the save. He can't do it, but Marty Jannetty kicks out. Unbelievable, these two teams have really given everything they've got of one another, and neither team on the other side willing to stay down for the count of three. Right now it is Marty Jannetty against both members of the Midnight Express. Look at him, getting out the back door on Dennis Condry. Gut Buster. Well, he better find a way to maintain the offense right now because his tag team partner is nowhere to be found. What a move right there. What a move right there. And Dennis Condry's gonna make the tag. Well, that was a big mistake right there. Marty Jannetty never should have allowed the tag because now Randy Rose, the fresh man in the ring and it's a one-on-one -on -one match. Both tag team partners are out on the floor. Nobody's getting saved right now. Tremendous knee lift right there by Randy Rose. And look at Marty Giannetti with a jawbreaker. Super kick, he's out. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. What a tremendous victory for the Midnight Rockers. Well, I'll tell you right now, this was one hell of a match. Dennis Condry and Randy Rose back in the ring. Hard to believe what we just saw go down here. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Well, it looks like there's a little dissension in the ranks. Randy Rose in the ring. Dennis Condry's leaving his tag team partner. Fans, we want to thank you for joining us here for AWA Championship Wrestling. Happy Memorial Day, everyone.